It's getting good out here. This year's soundtrack has been reimagined, giving a more eerie presence, much different than the contemporary music. You know, we heard through the Decades Project, organizers say it's unsettling this year, giving Zazobra a darker portrayal. The gloomy theme is haunting. Deep, resonant tones create a chilling backdrop as Zazobra casts his ominous spell over the children of Santa Fe transforming them into his loyal minions as he works to bring gloom to the city. The music really underscores their eerie transformation and brings a sense here of impending doom. Zobra has used his powers to take away the hopes and dreams of Santa Fe's children. You probably noticed there's more gloom than ever this year. It really is. 100 gloomies are taking the stage representing the centennial. You can see they're taking on a ghostly appearance, a look dating back to the beginning. And the grunts begin. 74 of the gloomies are kids from the community. They audition to be part of this big celebration. And they've been training all summer with dancers from the New Mexico Ballet Company. It is their fourth year participating in the event. Out of the sky, you can see the message gloomies are looking to spread. The gloom, anxiety, stress, woes, all sources of Zazobra's power.
Here come the townspeople, upset their children have been overcome with gloom. These brave people are looking to stop Zozobra's sinister plans. They carry pitchforks and small torches. Their arrival making Zozobra angry. The 12 torchbearers are dressed to represent each decade, with two of them having a futuristic look to push this tradition forward. Now their theme, it's a revival of the original drum arrangement developed by Will Schuster and members of the Tsuke Pueblo during the late 1930s and early 40s. This piece, it carries this strong militaristic rhythm, symbolizing the townspeople's urgent response to Zozobra's sinister actions. As the community rallies to defend itself and rescue their children, this music captures the tension and determination of their collective struggle. Much for the townsfolk, they're pushed away, and gloom continues to consume the city. Santa Fe, New Mexico. The townspeople have returned this time carrying much larger flaming torches. The Zobra is spreading darkness, so they're here to spread the light.
are really irritating Zazobra. He's so angry and growling and moaning so fiercely. The torchbearers are scared away. <laughs> Zazobra mocking the townspeople's attempt to destroy him. He and the Gloomies rejoice. Darkness falling over the city again. The celebration doesn't last long. Look now as the fire spirit materializes to battle the beast. You can see her powers have frozen the gloomies, putting them in a trance as they gaze upon her. You can see her moving in sync now with a drum beat. It's an almost tribal-like pattern. It's called the voodoo dance. Paying homage now to Jacques Cartier, a famous ballet dancer who helped Schuster develop the fire spirit. His first performances were based off the rhythm and feel of this dance.
looks like she's about to scare those gloomies away. And now we'll be turning her attention to fighting the angry monster. This music reflects Fire Spirit's confidence and determination to challenge the Zobra, facing him head on, embodying the timeless battle between light and darkness. Realizing her power of fire had an effect on the gloomies, the fire spirit grabs a torch and begins taunting the beast. are starting to have an effect on Zazobra. You can hear the agony in his voice. He's upset, trying to fight back. Fireworks are now symbolizing her ability to turn a waterfall into fire. Even more influence coming from the audience as the energy here in Santa Fe builds.
Here we go. A lot of fireworks flowing into a lot of positivity from this crowd. That energy now surrounding Zuzobra, allowing the fire spirit to focus her power on destroying this beast. Excitement in this crowd, they're chanting, burn him. The fire spirit harnessing the energy takes her torch and sets the Zobra on fire.
the Zobra has been defeated. Nothing more than a pile of embers. What you're hearing now is called the Fiesta Song. It's a celebration song symbolizing rebirth now that gloom has been lifted from the city. Sun, a symbol of our state. It burns brightly now to represent the new day together. The burning of Zuzobra kicks off Santa Fe Fiestas, and what you see now is the Santa Fe Fiesta Council joined by members of surrounding Pueblos. This act symbolizes the collaboration, coexistence, and interdependence of our state's unique cultures highlighting the rich tapestry of traditions that define New Mexico.